with the boogers. Oh, the boogers always hit me. Boogers are all like, you beat the level, congratulations! He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. Their medicine cabinet had been overturned and they collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Hold on, how are we doing? Bleeding quite badly. Slight headache. So my head's back to normal, but my heart's falling apart. Nice! We are going, we are making good time. We are making good time. I see no downside to what's currently happening. We're near the end, right? I'm sure this is the finale. Ten person. This way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Yo, I thought someone was playing the... I thought that was a guitar riff for a second. This place is too big, I don't like it. Copper. Sanity dot dot dot. There's no. Oh my god, that thing's got like no lower face.
Copper. Come on. Dude, I went in a circle. How much lamp oil did I just use walking in a freaking circle? It's locked, however, the lock is corroded and weak. Then kick it! The Look, chip this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down on there. Oil. Is that it? Is that all that all that was in here? So a kid went through the hole. I promise. It said can't. It said your uh, the hole isn't wide enough for you to go through. Modinum. Am I injured still? Cuts and bruises. Is this where I first came up the stairs, or is this somewhere else? Uh, hammer and chipper. Oh, monster's back there. Oh, it's the sun! Praise the sun, chat. Been in there. Been in there. She clenched her fist, shielding the woven pouch filled with sage and prayed. The men urged them to alight, alight from the carriage and force them through the castle gates. Another floor down there. All right, so we got this robust, good lock. I don't know what to do about that yet. Could you hammer chipper the floor hole? Apparently. Don't spoil me though. 
Thank you. Give me, give me more time to figure stuff out. How much oil do I have? Okay. Let's just take left turns. Dead end. Okay. Cells three, kitchen, receptacle. Um. Dude, this is too quiet. Oh my god. Copper. That's not what I meant. When it says too quiet, I didn't want that. Too much. It's too much. It's, it's tension building for too long. It's a butt. Don't look, chat. It's indecent. Hide your shame with bucket. Hey, anybody? Help! Christ! Do believe this? Why? Why? What do I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? He don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Second of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I have arrived. Yeah, tell me a story. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. It said part one of three at the top of that. I can't interact with those rocks or those. Alrighty, that's it for me. Have fun and good night. See you, Flav. Thank you for the pennies and all the support tonight. Even though I have merry mixed feelings on some of them. Don't look at the booty chat. We're hiding from the monster. We're hiding from the, the bad booty amongst the not a threat booty. You still have me to deal with, though, much greater than. Great. Is he safe? The spiral staircase that he did. Well, it's for his own good. I'm so lost right now, guys. Did I light this torch earlier? There's another booty. Cistern entrance. Metal padlock. I think that's the direction I came from. Corona. He 
escaped. Where is he now? Copper. I hate you a little for that one. It's a love-hate relationship, but you know. Is that supposed to be where I came from? Dude, I'm just using up oil and I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I doubt that very much. Since I just saw Vision, had I not been down this hallway? mouth what the heck was that did I have used so much oil running around not knowing what to do I forgot, I'm not supposed to look at monsters. Wait, it won't break, it needs to be weakened further? Can I break the other padlock with the hammer and chisel? Affected. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. There's not even any torches in this hallway. I'm getting a little scared, sure, but I'm getting a lot more just PO'd because I'm not sure what to do. All right, a glass jar. Hold on, can I? Let's have some privacy for a minute. Okay. Oh, I like this box. A 
glass jar. We've got locks that are too strong to break. Maybe we're gonna find some something acidic to put in the jar. Wow, I just like did a circus act across the room. Does this help me calm down? Seems like I'm still super messed up. No spo yeah, no spoilers, please. If I get stuck for a long time, I'll ask chat for help, but I haven't gotten there yet. Oh man, uh, hang on just a second. Wait, did my guy... Oh, no, I thought I'd just calm down. Alright, so that was the receptaculum. I'm currently in area cells 4. Okay, that doesn't help. And this is a dead end, right? There's nothing in here except that storage room. Okay. Pretty sure I tried to go in here and the monster came out of here, so I ran. I don't know if I've looked around in here yet. Oil, okay. Tinderbox. Tunnel. Praise the sun. Shimmering. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well-versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Receptaculum. So I'm coming from the receptaculum. Let's go look at the coolina. <laughs> It's a dead end. Is that the tunnel I came out of? Lena. Ah, new area. 
new area. Ah, <sighs> Fourth of August. I filled with relief and dread. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. You know... At the beginning of the story, we found, like, a note from ourself before we got amnesia that said, find this guy and kill him. I feel like the major plot twist would be if I myself am playing the shadow. Like, I'm playing the boogeyman going to kill the guy. Like, we've not seen our reflection. What if I'm one of those stitched-together booty whores? Mm. Glass jar. Darn it. I just hurt myself. No wonder there was a health potion there. It was for idiots like me who stuck their hand in a jar of acid. Why is there a jar of acid in the kitchen? A barrel of acid, even. It would do no good, really? All right, so leaving the colonna. Receptaculum. That was just a storage closet. Pretty sure. Nope, thinking of something else here. If I don't look behind me, the monster's not there. He was chasing me and he was playing a very out of tune violin. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. So am I about to get poisoned? There. The lever is stuck and needs to be greased. Hawk a loogie on it. Well, 
budge. Wow. I thought it was going to be a scary part where I had to swim underwater. It doesn't even let you submerge, chat. It's like, no, that's just suicide. Don't even do that. That way is submerged, that way the door is stuck, and I need grease or something for this lever, which I'm guessing will drop this ladder down. Do I have to go back to the hallway with the monsters? Is there nothing I can do here? Cause I gotta say, I don't wanna... My mind is better. Wait. Can I use any of this gross stuff to grease the... To grease the door? carry over there to complete the staircase. No, I can't interact with that. Oh, man. I thought I was done with that last area. I hated that last area. Oh, oh, I'm actually kind of relieved that it won't budge. That means I don't need to go back. There's something here I'm missing. I still love the thought of the scary here. booty monsters just being really angry mates. Upset about the boogers all over the place. Got it. The boogers all over the place. I'm so happy that door did not let me go back. Dude, we're using a ladder to beat up a pipe. I think I picked up a rock to break that pipe. Mm. It's always nice when you can solve a puzzle with multiple things. Herbert, how did we find this one? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel. But things don't always turn out the way we planned. Is that going to let me lower the platform that I couldn't lower earlier?
Oh shoot, do I have to make them match this one? It's like halfway, sort of up. Oh man. Wait. Whoa! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is there another wheel on this side? Yeah, okay. I feel like Dee Dee in Dexter's lab. Just like, what does this button do? No idea what I'm doing. Wooden crank. Down, up, up, down. I'm thinking we have to make one side match the other. Okay, I'm hearing machine noises. I'm guessing that's good. I bet I have to go back and do the counterweight thing properly. I keep expecting to open that door and see the boogeyman right on the other side of it, chat. So, up a bit, up a lot, up in between. I'm, I'm so tempted to just take a screenshot shot. It's like left, right, middle, going upward. I mean, that's pretty close. Dude, how specific does this need to be? Well, let's just keep going and see what that does. Oh my gosh, all those pipes I found on the ground. I have to bring them in here. Where were they? Isn't it mirrored? Maybe? It doesn't make like the satisfying machine noises, so I'm not sure.
It really doesn't let me put it anywhere except right there. Maybe that's where it's supposed to go? Let's go find another piece. Is this what we're listening for? Like the hissing of the pipe? Is that what we're trying to get? Alright, so if it's mirrored, it'd be like lowest, middle, top. Alright, so if it's a mirror... Oh, oh! Okay, I think that's it. I think that's the satisfying, satisfying, satisfying noise Is that you? we're trying to find. What are you doing? Wait, was that not a flashback? He just said, Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Is that actually, like, current time? My guy is so crazy, I don't know what's real anymore. There's one more pipe section we gotta find. Oh man. The work I've put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct this design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning crudely replaced by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster. Where he, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts, I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hope it will have even the tiniest hint of the power found in the traveler's locket. Okay, I am not finding this thing. So I got the wooden crank.
wait. It was a trick. There wasn't a fourth pipe. I just had one in a in a wrong place, and I had to move it. <laughs> 